All right, back here with the man eating plants. I just uh, had to keep from blowing up the pods. All right, let's see what's going on with Regents now. Let me in. Regis! Damn it, locked. No way I got the place wrong. This is it, gotta be. Gotta be another way in around here. Find a way into the grid. And fucking necrophage too. does not appear to be the other way. It's into the pit for me. Damn it, Regis. I guess it's uh, time to take on the insects. You know what? If they're not as annoying as those damn spiders from Hearts of Stone, I can live with it. Looks like they're poisonous though. Big one, he's all pissed. Alright, I killed the big one. Pretty damn poison, though. There's a body. Decaying bones. Kikimors must have tunneled into the grave. Damn it, Regis. Alright, hold on, guys. I'm gonna clear this poison first. 
All right, poison's been cleared up with a little white honey. Ready to move on. That's my knock for making this such an annoying mission, Regis. Here rests Sir Remon of Gichon. On my grave you will not find the likeness of the man who once lived. I gave my heart, soul, and body to the knightly craft, and I wish to be remembered as a knight. The symbol of chivalry is a naked sword, and that symbol rests above me. The sword that defended my honor, my friends, and my heart. The sword that was closer to me than a brother. The sword that was never stained by the blood of an innocent man. Let it rest on this stone through the ages. Oops. I didn't mean to take your sword, buddy, but... Oh, it's a silver sword. What's he doing with a silver sword? Interesting, it's almost as strong as my viper silver sword. That I picked up in uh, Gontaro Grimm's universe. All right, Regis. <laughs> Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Could have left the door unlatched. What of my privacy? I value it rather deeply. Unmolested, especially by unwanted guests, that's my preferred state. Besides, I knew you'd find a way to get in. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Come on. Gotta be some way. Hmm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses, and no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. Yeah, Yennefer found that out. Could this help? Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. Abraxa had taken an interest in it. You all right, Regis? It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen. And the ornamentation. It comes from our home. Where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from a dear old friend. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here. Guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Detlaf. 
to remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. Regis himself is only about 500 years old, so he was definitely born in this world. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Kovinaris' theory of tissue memory retention. Hmm. Rings a distant bell. Read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Kovinarius never managed to prove it worked. He did prove it, just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? That sounds painful. special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Covinaris gave a rather poetic name. Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Dedloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Detlef's hideout. Can't you just summon Detlef? You're both higher vampires, there's gotta be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh... There is a being who can summon Detlef possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being, well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It will be both quicker and easier. Okay, that seems logical. Also, any kind of being that would have that kind of authority Makes me nervous. I mean, I just got through uh, that whole Gontaro Dim Master Mirror thing. Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible to visions. Hmm. <sighs> Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's mamoon glands, the closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. Rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves... But oh, he's gonna to summon help there. now. It's okay to summon this help. But not the other guy. Damn, that's creepy. I hope he can't spy on us through the hand. that a raven rather a common sight at this latitude very intelligent fowl i asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned him and his brethren perhaps they'll find one in the area and i would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would with all due respect your skills my friend it will take them some time nonetheless so perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake oh he makes good mandrake Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? I'll be a little nicer here. Everyone's got some secret. I agree wholeheartedly. 
I also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets, unburden oneself to those one can trust. This your sophisticated way of asking me if I trust you? I prefer almost always to ask you directly. It seems a test of intelligence, one you just passed. Hmm. Maybe you should go first. Reveal one of your secrets. After all, you vampires lead very interesting lives. Anything in particular interest you? This is going to be a talky episode, guys. Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, at first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps a dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back. Defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. Seems I certainly missed quite a bit while I was... It was quite a situation. enough. But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. I wonder how that's different if uh, we haven't finished the main game yet. All right, guys, we are back looking for the White Slayer. And right now, it looks like it's several hundred feet away. Oh, it's just a doe. Just in case, I got a little hungry, that's all. Come on, Roach. Move it. What's that about? Wait a minute. There seems to be a quest right here. Oh, something happened. Let's investigate. The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he, he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him dress his wounds. Then you appeared. I'm suspicious. But it is Toussaint. Stand and step away from him. What? Me? But what is your grief? Don't make me say it again. That's good advice. Will you tell me what it is you seek? Needed to see if you were lying. You'd be covered in blood if you dealt those wounds. Just got it on your hands, though. So all's in order. Who... who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? Let's figure it out. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. 
Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do. So, so long. Wait, I will come with you. I'm not sure that's a good idea. So be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Extreme cosplay. Follow the tracks. Trail leads to the house on the hill. There's a grave. What, somebody's a poet? Doran Alma Estate. Gates locked from the inside. Clearly been jostled, though. Something tried to get out. Wind down my back. Calm down, buddy. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Well, maybe I can bust it down. Yep. Investigate the estate grounds. Damn it. What Good the hell God. is this? Setting for a banquet? What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? What services? None survive? Gods. Some nice wines. Silver tableware, oven engravings. Servant, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Throats massacred, one mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented, swords ceremonial, and Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices? Of what? Please do not say humans. Est Est is a pretty good wine, from what I remember. The Civil War in Tucson. I'll read that later. Burn marks. Something catch fire? Explode? Strong stench. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human. But the attire's elven. Are you certain? How did he come back? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. Can I go in here? No, it's still locked. Alright, we gotta follow the smell then. There's something in there. Perhaps there's no one inside after- I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. The... The... remain there? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. Who are you, exactly? 
Durant Faucher Plamondon de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tucson. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage, but something like this, why it's a first. You mentioned so he's them. the president of the local historical mean? society. Those, I, I don't know what they were, spirits. It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene, the, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. It then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here and, and shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Of right. course. Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. Well, we have three individuals. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help, but I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Ah, yes. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. A few hours later... I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin Throne. While you, Witcher, will play the Enshe nice ruler, we must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the Ceremonial Elven King, mask. hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. All right, so I gotta light all the torches. All right, looks like I need to equip those. I'll probably have to equip those ancient weapons later. There's the bread. Winnowet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Long last, the Elfin King grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing... Draw the Elven sword and shield. light the lamps. Oh, some of them went out. Oh, <laughs> they went out because I hit it with Ard. The Elfin 
Anakin, erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutofik then spake. Here we go. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Defeat the living statues. Whoa! Damn! I got wrecked, guys! Oh, man. God damn it, guys. That took way too long. The sculptures, they came alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. Perhaps you should. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. Yeah, let's have this argument. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this for a reward. Farewell. That was pretty extreme cosplay. Some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. Soiled letter. Marlene. You have no idea the pain it causes a father to write these words. A father who must abandon his own child, cease to be a father, and his heart shall never know comfort. Sadly, as a result of what's happened, I have no other choice. We, along with the rest of our household, must abandon our estate. It's because the curse took you from us, leaving you in your stead a mindless, bloodthirsty creature. We shall go north to Kovir, and if you ever read this letter, which could only mean you've returned to human form, look for us there. I can only promise each year I'll send an envoy who will be tasked with checking in on you, seeing if you're alive, and if so, in what form. Fate that you will once again be my beloved Marlene, Gives, the gives me the strength to live on. Perhaps the curse will last forever. Perhaps someone will come along and lift this burden from you. Farewell, your loving father. Well, well, well. What have we here? shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right.
Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Stain Diary. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. Never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery, I'll have to visit an herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain, so strong that at times I can't see. I've been to the herbalist, repulsive old crone that looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day, but it's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today there are no wrinkles. But I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing on my breasts. It's horrible. It's gotta be because of those damned herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty. She must have known what happened to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing faster and faster. I've tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar who I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think and it's getting pretty hard to write. Loneliness. No family. Eat. I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons. Nothing. Eat. It hurts. Mirror. Lies. No. Ah. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Distressing, guys. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Hey, don't dock the spoons, man. The spoon. The spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Wait, spontaneous profits? This certifies the item up for auction. An antique spoon key forged the Christopherson Sons workshop in 1210. Belongs to Smiggle Circus, owner of the pheasantry. Ooh. Ask the owner about the mysterious spoon. Master Levasseur, I know you track outlaws for pay. I have an unusual assignment for you. No doubt you wonder why I've drawn you out here and why we cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of beating is risky, not so much for me as for the person whom I meet. For I am afflicted by a curse, or as, fa or as I hope, and why I have turned to you. The side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by an herbalist. Soon after I visited this herbalist, she disappeared without a trace. I desperately wish to understand my illness, so I wish to hire you to find her. When you do, learn as much from her as you can about the medicine she gave me. If it turns out my suffering is not the fault of the herbalist, let her go. I'll then have a different task, because this shall mean I am afflicted by a terrible curse, which only the gods can cure. I believe it was cast upon me by a certain beggar who came by the manor while I was hosting a soiree for a few friends. If you can find the vagrant, I'll pay you double. Sadly, all I remember of him is that he sold mirrors. I am aware this is not much aid for your hunt, yet I trust in your considerable talents and wish you the best of luck. Marlene de Trastamara. A guy who sold mirrors, huh? I've run across somebody like that before. Hmm. Actually does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Cauldron I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. 
and it's been trying desperately to lift it. White's obsessed, a real collector, thoroughbred. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. I guess I gotta hide. Some time later. Got some brew now. To try to lift the curse. you want to help I've seen the words of the curse on the walls think I know how to lift it Tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Just need a bit for Regis. All right, got the brew. And now we'll tend to you. Is right. Words of the curse were None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Hmm. No spoon will say to you. So let's use something else besides the spoons. Spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Something happened, anyway. I see something over there. A scream. Shh, easy. 
easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I must eat. Someplace safe. <laughs> 